Let's go to Godwin Amma. He's secretary to the Ghana National Association of Small Scale Miners. Mr. Amma, you're welcome to Eyewitness News. This campaign of yours, uh, give us the, the, the reasoning behind it and then summarize for us what your next plan is. Okay, thank you and good evening to listeners. Um, the association, working with the Ministry of Lands and Natural Resources and the Minerals Commission, um, we, we as an association adopted the BRIM rule to free it from illegal dredging and also uh, illegal miners or miners washing directly into the river body. And the purpose was to ensure that communities along the Brim River where the Ghana Water Company pumps water from, we reduce the turbidity level to the minimum so that the communities can get water and also the miners can get water to operate. Um, uh, since we started the job, uh, the PRO for the Eastern Region for Ghana Water Company even commended us that what we've done we've been able to reduce the stability levels from over 1,000 to 94. So now indigenous are getting water. So we've been able to manage and clear all these illegal miners from the river and also to who are working closely. So our three-day tour is to do the evaluation and work closely also with the Ministry of Lands and Natural Resources and the Minerals Commission and then the Ghana Armed Forces to ensure that this operation is sustained. We moved from there, we still know, then we got to, as he said, um, engineering, and that's where we had a little bit of um, tension between some of the community folks who were working, working under the uh, main bridge. You know, there's a bridge that, uh, from the, that, that connects Accra and Kuma, and these guys are out. Okay? And the situation is not good. So we stopped with this, and that brought this issue. Some of the things are managed. Ms. Amma, your, your network is not that good. Can you re-establish that point after repositioning yourself? No, try again. Hello? Yes, better now. Me? Better, thank you. Yes. I said, so under the bridge, uh, they, they, they worked um, closely uh, to uh, under the bridge, you know, so close to the bridge, the bridge that's on the brim, that connects Kumasi Accra Highway. So we have to and they took them the better spot to them. That is where we met some of these illegal miners who claim they are working as youth, the community, and all that. So we told them you cannot do anything that brings her to the state. Where they are mining, there is a red zone, and no one is going to allow them to operate there. So that's what goes to composition between the some of the task force and then that youth. But with the intervention of the Please, because we send them to the police station, we're able to come to Empire. Then we move on to the next area. As an association, we are not going to be lent on this. We ensure that we have the people to ensure that this is is done. The reason that why we are doing this constantly is this is coming. And then, please, this should come back. Well, areas that we live. And in the stability levels are cool down that the, the Ghana Water Company is pumped to water for indigenous in those communities. We are going to ensure that we sustain it. From here, we move, uh, uh, how do you call it, uh, to the, the, the Omosu areas. That one, we are using the boats to also clear all the drainage. We've got boats, we've got light there, and all that. So we are going to ensure that the Brim River, the most this operation is going to be over here. We are working on it up to uh, uh, the end of this to ensure that the river is clear. Okay. Uh, uh, under the bridge, we were able to fetch them and we'll be sending it to the lab. But we can see clear difference between what we took as a baseline to what we have now. Very well. Thank you. Thank you for speaking to us, Godwin.